Hello, welcome back to Out of Pop Culture. Today we're going over the ninth album by John Mayer called Sob Rock. So I have all I've never really been I've been a singles fan of uh, John Mayer's songs. I never got to his got into his full albums before. Um, but I do know some of the singles. I know some songs that some like that I had friends that were um, that are uh, John Mayer fr uh, fans that show me like some of their songs. So I got those songs too. And I have to say he's very, very, very talented. And he's he has a he has a very good voice. He kind of represents that that spot that I really love with that weird kind of southern rock. And I and he has a just the guitar solos in this whole album and all of his other albums are just amazing. And it's something that is just just I'm left in awe, pretty much. So this album is a will be the actual official album that actually got. Well, that's a lie. I got into uh, Born and Raised. I did listen to that one. That one came out in 2012. I listened to that one full on, and I don't remember, remember what I thought. It, I don't remember all the songs of it, but I thought it was pretty good, pretty nice. Um, so this album will be my ex like officially remembering exactly what I'm getting into direction. Um, this album also reminds, it's giving me that feel of kind of like yacht rock direction. I know that people are, everybody's kind of getting into that yacht rock, like the dad's, dad's 80s to 70s kind of rock, you know. So I feel like he's leaning into that with this, with his own stink, of course. And I love it. I think it's so nice. I think it matches him so perfectly. I love his cover, his album cover is pretty much the same as in that space too, um, with the blues and pinks giving you that 80s-ish, but same kind of feel of kind of, uh, Peter, uh, Gabriel kind of direction. Um, but yeah, so this album pretty much talks about reminiscing on a failed relationship. And we already know, we already know that John Mayer has a long history, a, a track record of failed relationships. And some of, most of them, he, caused some of it he did or one of them seems like it was a kind of a both responsibilities in in it which was hashtag Katy perry's relationship with him it seem it seems like he's still kind of reeling about that because the 2017 album the search for everything was pretty much about her it started off the song literally start start the first song i remember um people were talking about it actually one of my friends that were fans of his we're talking about how like he actually like it was pretty much begging to get back together was the first song so i feel like it was i feel like maybe what's going on is that the 2017 was right in the heat of everything so of course he's in the most emotional direction of it and i think that now we're fast forward to where he's kind of been single the whole t been single most of the time and I think this is his final go at like kind of getting anything else out that he needs to talk about about that relationship, but also talk about a little bit of the past relationships too that kind of formed who he is. And then he's, but he's saying it's like those are that's a past me. I'm now a different person now, and I want to represent that, you know. Um, and he's ready for love again, but he also he, yeah, it seems like the whole premise of this that he's ready for love, but he wants to kind of air out all the dirty laundry or the leftover feels that he still has towards uh, his la his past relationships. So we're going to go into that. Um, so let's start off with the first song, Last Train Home. This one actually is talking about him pretty much looking for somebody to marry now. Like he wants to settle down. He wants to have kids. He wants to have all the whole thought of what marriage would be, um, could be. Um, but he says last train home, train home as in like, he's at the last, this, this is a kind of a last, he's at the edge of the whole, um, of being out of time to find, to find marriage, which is, I don't really think that's true. I've seen six people in their sixties get married, but, um, I understand being in, when he talks about being in his forties and still being single, not being married, which is complete. I personally think it's complete bullshit. I think it sucks that he has to worry about that. But um, 
it's what he feels like. It's how he feels. He wants to be married by, he wanted to be, his thought and his plan was to be married by now. And so he knows, he's like, I'm at the last, I'm on the last train running home, which home is running towards that marriage to find it, to get to it, you know? Um, with the help of Marin Morris, who adds a little vocal to the end, which is so, it's so, it's so yacht rock, it's so 80s, it's so, it's so like 70s and that kind of space where you have like a random female voice, like, like whoa, kind of thing in the background. You don't really know who it is, you may know who it is, but it just, she never sings until a, when the, until the climax has happened and she adds like that more emotions to it. I'm so glad that Marie, uh, uh, Marin, uh, Morris is doing that. She pretty much helps him out throughout the whole album with the background vocals and stuff like that. And I really think that's, she's, she's amazing. She's so talented. And I think that's a great idea to have her there. Um, uh, shouldn't, uh, shouldn't matter, but it does. Pretty much talking about him. Also reeling about the past relationship, but talking about the idea of what could have been different. What could have happened? What could have been, what could have happened differently that would have made it work? Um, he says, uh, we lost something. It's still, I'm still, I still wonder where it was. It might, it shouldn't matter, but it does. Pretty much the idea is just like, I'm the only one thinking about this and I know it shouldn't matter. It's past. Everything's been gone. We've moved on, but it still matters to me because it's still, it's still something that he still feels. Uh, New Light is the next song that I really, really like. Um, it's much more upbeat. It's much, it's, it's just a really great song. This song pretty much asks, is pretty much asking for a second chance to see this person in a different light. And from, from the previous time that they did see each other, the, how they saw each other before. He has a new perspective, so he wants to see, he wants to do, have a do-over so he can show her and see her knowing that she's changed and he's changed. So maybe they, the change could be good to fix, to get back together kind of thing. And that's what he talks about. Um, he says, you don't know, you don't think twice about me. Maybe you, you're right to doubt me, but if you give me just one night, you're going to see me in a new light. Love that. And I love, but what I really, really love is the breakdown that, that came out nowhere. Just like, it definitely, you definitely felt, you felt like, oh, it's going to go into a bridge, but the bridge is the breakdowns. Like, dun, 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 I love that. I think it's so cool. Um, Shot in the Dark. This one's looking back at an old romance. This one's not about Katy Perry. It's, well, I don't think it's about Katy Perry. I th honestly think it's about Taylor Swift. Um, it's once again, he's dirt, he's airing out all his past stuff. And I think this is the last go at it. I think I, I have a feeling that his next album has, is going to have nothing to do with this. It's going to move on to him finding love or move on to something else of a topic. But I think it, I really feel, I don't know. It just really feels like he's airing out all this stuff. So he doesn't have to talk about it anymore or so he can kind of feel and kind of release from it. Um, this one talks about, uh, old relation or old romance might be with Taylor. Um, and he says, if you thought you, if you thought you met your, Caf your you met your Casanova and he le and he left you with a broken heart, remember it's when it's done and over, it's only a shot, a shot in the dark. Um, still kind of working on exactly what that means, but it's pretty much saying, I feel like he's saying is that it's just another, it's just another mistake or, or not mistake, another thing that just a felt a thing that you gave it, it was just a chance that you did that didn't work out. It just didn't work out. You know, it, you took a chance on something. It didn't pan out, but that's okay. You know, you try again and you try again, you do it again kind of thing, but you learn from what you got from that direction. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. And he point, he points out it's a code. It's a gate code. Still your birthday, which is makes a lot of sense for Taylor Swift to have her birth, have a birthday be the code to her gate to her house. Um, I hope that doesn't get out because I can definitely think that's a little touching on the dangerous of if we think it's Taylor Swift, we're like beep, 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 trying to change it. And she's probably like, okay, great. Now I have to change my code. Um, but yeah, I like this one. I love the sound. I love the production. I think it sounds really nice. Um, I guess I just feel like it's the next song, which is technically the first single to this album. It was kind of left by itself, but then as things started forming, you definitely start seeing it. It's definitely going to be the on the album. Um, this one is just him kind of venting, just venting how he feels kind of hopeless and how he feels kind of just, eh, you know, and he says, he's like, I guess I just feel like nobody's honest. Nobody's true. Everybody's lying to make it on through. I guess I just feel like I am the same way too. 
kind of he sees that and he also feels like he's affected by that as well. Um, he also says, da, 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 um, and it goes to that kind of feeling where he kind of just lets it out. He kind of lets all of it out. And then the last verse, though, kind of gives more hope. And he says, and I always let you, and I always let hope in wherever I, I'll be. And if I go blind, I'll always find, oh, I'll, I'd still find my way. I guess I just feel like giving up today. It seems it it brings a whole brings it back to a direction of just like no it's not like I'm giving up on life fully it's just today it's just hit me hard the hardest and I just today is gonna be the day this is the day I feel like giving up you know I love that it's very it's a very I feel like it's a very common feeling to feel and I think that is something that I like having that aired out by a person by just a musician who says just like I just feel like shit I don't know it's just I just feel like shit you know. There's no, it's not because of this, it's not, it's because of them, like, it's just, it's just a feeling, you know? Um, till I, till I, till the right one comes. Now he's on a flip side, now he's much more, now you're on a part where he's ready for love, he's ready to get out there. This one talks about finding the right one, and he says, I, um, people kind of doubt him because he has, because of his past, and so you're like, you're not gonna find the right one, blah, 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 but he says, he says this, you, you say I'm never gonna find, or, Never gonna love someone. Just give it time, or give it time now, and you might, or you might find maybe I'll prove you wrong when the right one comes. So this is kind of him talking about that is like when the right one comes, it'll show you differently that it'll show you what I, who I am, and what this person represents. Blah blah, blah you know. And I feel like it's also talking about the whole idea that he wants to take his time with it and not just jump into it because he knows that there's been a lot of disaster relationship that kind of where they just jump in without really knowing if it's right and he says um oops i lost my place oh so forgive me if i might be looking around for a minute before jumping right in i just want to be sure plain and simple fair enough um carry me away it's a, one of his shortest songs it talks about wanting to be in a new relationship but also wanting to kind of get out of his bubble to be out there and live his life since he's always been touring around and everything he hasn't had time to just be be honestly and he wants to be with somebody as well to do that to be to just kind of be with somebody you know be but additional with somebody being there with him um i really like it i like the sound the guitar takes me away um and finally all i want to be is <laughs> all i want to i all i want is to be with you it's definitely talking about i feel like talking about Katy perry because once again he's never talked about a uh, any of the women that he's been with as hard as he's talked about Katy Perry. So he must really, really wanted to be, be with her. Actually, I know that he said that he, even when the off and on thing that was happening, he literally still saw a future with them. He still was in his head. like, I still can see us having babies. I still think we're going to grow old, you know, but it, it didn't happen. Hence, while well, he's probably still working on it. But um, this one kind of looking at the form, at, at the former lover that he they can't seem to forget um, and yeah, so, so yeah, and it says, um, and I can't find, if I can find myself, I can find me somebody new, but all I want to be is with you. All I, oh God, all I want is to be with you. Um, they said I hurt, they said I'd hurt you, um, said I'd run just like I always do with everyone, but you were different. I was true. Pretty much the same. It's like, so sh something must have, something about her must have really change the way he wants to see be looked at and change the way he felt about his heart towards somebody and i think that he she really affected him in that way and for the better too and i think that now he see he sees that and he definitely understands he's like i still think about you because you really s turn things around than i was really expecting to um anyway that's pretty much how it ends we don't really know if he finds anybody it kind of left in the in the open um, but I do like this song, or album, I really think it's really good, I give it a 9 out of 10, there's a couple songs that were just like, eh, like, why, why you know love me, I, it's low-key cringy, um, for saying that part, and Wild Blue, as much as I want to like it, it does kind of sound a little, it's, it's a little, like, like this, a couple, for like the majority of the time of it, but I do like the album, so I've, I'm very satisfied with the 9 out of 10. Leave a comment below, tell me what you thought. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell so you get more of my videos. Uh, if you have history with John Mayers, please let me know. Um, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.